I'm scared, I'm scared. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you guys notice that I'm wearing the same clothes, the same busted up makeup, I just did uh, the no brushes challenge video right before this one. So I've been drinking Grey Goose and orange juice. You know what I'm saying? So this video, I'm going to react to my very first video on my Kissed by Ken channel. And that is the Kim K. Let me actually look up the title. One sec. Kim K meets the Walking Dead slash zombie tutorial. So that is OK. I'm already about to laugh. So I'm going to watch it on my phone and um, I'm going to be reacting to it. I'm just going to make sure it's good quality and I'm going to be reacting to it. So this is a drunk reaction. And I'm also going to be sipping on some more OJ and uh, great goose. So if my makeup looks busted in this video, pay it no mind. Okay, so as I said, I've been drinking, so this is going to be a drunk reaction. And I didn't want to drink again. Whatever, let's just get right into the video. So I'm going to be re reacting to this video. You guys are going to watch it with me. So I'm so scared. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> all right. Um, on my fake, I mean my fake. My talk was so fake. I tried to act really proper for YouTube, and like I felt like YouTube was mad professional. Like I had to be mad professional, and then like I tried. I was so nervous, even though I did YouTube before this. But even though I did YouTube before this channel, actually, but nobody really knows about that. So. I was really nervous to start back because I was like starting back and all this other stuff. But my face looks really big. I don't know if it looks big like that right now, but my forehead and everything. And then my background was just like crazy. All right, but well, I'm just gonna go. Be transforming her into a zombie Kim K. I have been keeping up with the Kardashians for years now and I love the show. On top of that, many people I said, have told me I look like Kim Kardashian on various occasions. So, I decided to embrace that for the video. So, if you want to learn or simply be entertained, please keep watching. And don't forget to rate, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thanks, guys. So, I'm using a baby wipe to start with the clean surface, then Burt's Bees Brightening. Oh my god, my skin was so clear though. I'm then using Benefits the Professional to fill my pores in. This is Max Face and Body Foundation. It's super lightweight, so I absolutely love it. And it sets a perfect base. I hated doing this voiceover, by the way, because I don't know. I just remember I was struggling with it. Like, I, I was trying to speak good. And then I don't know what I'm saying right now. But um, you guys can get what I'm saying. But my skin was so clear and flawless. And I'm going to get back to that. It's just so you know. Okay. For my walking dead Kim K. Filling my brows, I'm using this eyebrow cake powder by NYX in brown dark brown. The wax helps keep the hair in place and the shadow gives it such a natural look. I do have thicker brows than Kim, so I just fill them in as I usually would. I've always had thick brows and I wasn't too fond of them, but now I've learned to embrace my natural beauty and I find them amazing. My eyebrows look horrible. I like to conceal the outline, so I use Makeup Forever's Camouflage Cream Palette number one in a shade close to my complexion. This just gives it that fresh look, like if you just got them done. It's definitely a cool trick. I even use this when I don't fill in my brows. I definitely filled in right, well, cleaned around right here. Moving on to Kim's infamous smoky eye. I, that I prepped good. with Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion. It's a bit tacky, so I use Rimmel London's translucent powder, so blending out the shadows could be easier. I'm using my fave Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette, starting with licorice all over the lid and mousse as a transition color to blend out the edges. I'm also blending in Frosted into the crease. The trick to a perfect smoky eye is to blend, blend, blend it to perfection. And you know what's funny is that now if I do my shadow, I cannot do my lid color without having something in my crease. But back then, I was completely different. I kind of miss this though, like. I don't know. This don't palette know. is genius. Mixing the smell of chocolate <sighs> and makeup. It's like, oh my god, I can just die. For a smokier effect, 
I'm taking the Perfect Blend Pencil in Basic Black from CoverGirl to line my lash line, and I'm smoking it out using the other side of the pencil. Oh my god, I don't have that pencil anymore. I curl my lashes to separate them and prep them for mascara. L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara is mascara heaven. It gives the impression of false lashes. It's definitely my fave. I'm color correcting with the green from the camouflage cream palette to cover my dark circles. And then I conceal in a triangular shape with the shade that's lighter than my own. Yeah, that, bright, that, that green brightens up your eyes. Oh, see. Oh, Next see. Pro Longer Concealer gets great coverage and it doesn't crease as much. So I use that to fully conceal under my eyes. I set that yeah. with Laura Mercier's translucent powder in Universal and my beauty blender. I use the pencil from CoverGirl to tightline and in my waterline. So that it doesn't look too harsh, I use a mixture of the shadows frosted and This mousse makes me to so sad. It makes me emotional. Like I'm using my ultimate fave butter pecan under the brow and the tear duct. You guys don't understand how much different. I mean, how old was I in this video? Let's see. I just started. 2015. Uh, I had just turned 22. 20, 23. Yeah, I just turned 22, and I just turned 23. 2016. I'm turning 24 this year. Okay, but like it was only two years ago, and I feel like so emotional because like two years ago, I'm so different to what I am right now, especially in the state. I'm like really different. But I mean, like you know, in in general, I'm just so different. Like. Anyways, I'm just gonna watch it. I'm just gonna watch it. Kim loves applying mascara to her lower lashes for a fuller effect. Using Makeup Forever's Camouflage Cream Palette in number four, I'm taking a darker shade to cream contour under my cheekbones. I'm then going to be setting my makeup using Rimmel London's Translucent Powder. It works as a base to then highlight and contour with powders, which I did using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I actually got this palette after I got my makeup done at Sephora and saw the artist using it. It looks so good, I didn't want to take my makeup off. I was like kissed by the contour gods. Kissed by Ken. <laughs> While that sets, I'm using a combination of the NYX Lip Pencil in Natural, Revlon's Frost Lipstick in Bamboo. Oh, I still have that NYX pencil. It's like this small. Ow. After brushing off the excess powder, I'm using a shimmery peach blush from the BH Cosmetics 10 color blush palette. The shimmer also serves as a highlight on the My cheek. contour looks so harsh, but I think and my color, like when I was editing, was a little bit off, so. <laughs> I looked really, like, it looked not blended and not good, but it wasn't this, like, it wasn't that bad, actually. I know I'm about to scare myself, so I'm like. Wow, I really look like her. Oh my god, I'm scared. I love when people underestimate me and then become pleasantly surprised. I'm scared, I'm scared. To achieve the gauging eye, I applied layers of liquid latex with the q tip. I still get scared of her. <laughs> it scares I me, I don't like that. To blend it in with my skin oh. and then began peeling it downward. <laughs> <laughs> Using I'm red from this flash palette, yeah. I filled it in. This is raw ass talent, though. It, like, it, it really is. And to make it I'm amazing more myself, I use red right. paste and gel along with the red brown shadows around the edge for a bruising effect. It's not as good as an actual walker from the show, but I think it's pretty cool. Moving on to the mouth, I began outlining the ripped apart cheek with the latex. I placed tissue over this so I can mold this better. I repeated this process That's three times, ending hair. it with a layer of latex as well as applying foundation to blend it in. I cut it open and used scissors to cut off any excess. Using the red from the flash palette, I carved out some teeth and filled in the rest of the mouth. I also used white from the flash palette for the teeth. I used the same techniques with darker shades and blood paste and gel as I did with the eye to give it a more realistic look. I applied latex as scratches on the nose and forehead, and while that dried, I bruised the top of my brow with shadows and blood paste. I applied paste, blood gel, and bruise around the scratches as well. 
Most likely Rick was too busy doing stuff and things. So Kim was fit as she was doing. So I was low-key a fake fan because at this time I think I was just starting to watch the first season of Walking Dead. But my boyfriend's like a huge fan, so he told me about this whole Rick thing. And now I I'm a diehard Walking Dead fan. Like I Oh my god, I love Walking Dead. But anyways, I was low-key like fake ass fuck. <laughs> Right. No, makeup. <laughs> <laughs> no? No? Oh, okay. How late was that? that? No? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh so my I god. Brush you can't. Oh. Using the same oh. as the other gashes. I'm like, I like sweating. Because I was so walker. lame. To give the zombie a better effect, I popped in some contacts, I bruised the contours of my face and added extra blood, blending it down to my neck. And she is done. Oh my god. This looks dope. Like, I did look dope. So this is a final look. It's a bit crazy. But I hope you guys but. like it. And remember to rate, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Wow. So that intro, well, that and outro was cute. But, like... My final thoughts on that is that I feel like I was such a baby, even though I'm like only two years older, almost three years older, but um, I feel like I was such a baby. Um, I'm like, you know, tipsy or drunk, whatever the hell I am right now. And so I'm a little bit more emotional about it. So um, yeah, I feel like I was such a baby. I had such clear skin. I looked, li I looked like a baby. I feel like I still look like a baby now, but I cake up so much more on my makeup sometimes so I don't look like it. But anyways, I, I feel like this was a really great video, uh, but I wish I just could go back and give myself a hug. Like, so cute, right? I don't know. If you guys haven't watched that video, it's my first video ever uploaded on this channel, so go watch it. Or you just watched it with me anyways because it is in the video. But, um... Yeah, um, I don't have much to say, but if you guys want more videos like that Kim K video, then let me know. Um, maybe I could recreate that same video. That'd be dope, but that's a lot of work. So <laughs> let me know if you guys want to see that. But be sure to check out my other drunk makeup tutorials. I'm so hot like right now. This is my second video and I've already been sweating so much. And my mouth is super dry. I need to drink so much water. And um, I'm really impatient right now. So I will see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Get this video to a thousand likes. Please get this video to a thousand likes. Ooh, my finger's mad close to you. Like, hey. Finger touch, finger touch, finger touch. Boom. If you really finger touch, you my homie. If you didn't, why didn't you? But anyways, I'll see you in my next video. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter. That's basically it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.